The calendar has turned to December, and we're in the home stretch now as we're underway in week 13. Out of the end zone, here comes Hines. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. And Williams in motion right. Left end, 19. Bronco 80. 60 Eagle, 60 Eagle. Hustle, hustle. Richardson going right to the air. Now this will be swung out wide for Taylor. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. 22 yards on the catch and run, a first down. A lot of times the key is just get him the ball and let him do his thing, and they got it out to him on the left side, and he did exactly that. Excellent run after the catch. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. Now Richardson going to shift Tiger. things up. On the end around, here comes Williams. Down the sideline he goes. Jamison Williams, touchdown Indianapolis. Jamison Williams, his third rushing touchdown on the year. And the Colts go down the field in just two plays to take the early lead. Well, if they didn't get the wake-up call before the game, they got it right now. Two plays already in the end zone. I think of it in boxing terms because whether it's a big shot with your first one or a probing one, a little bit of a jab, the second one was the payoff. That was the big one that landed. One, two, end zone. After the touchdown, it's Gay to kick this one away. Tug of Iloa and the Dolphins come up first and 10 at their own 25 yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Oh, he's going to take a shot right away. Hill diving and he's got it full extension. What a catch. It's a big play there for Miami and even 60 yards. It's early, but announcer cliche alert here. Big players make big plays. Should I say in big games too? Ah, oh, what the heck. And this defense, they're going to have to find some way to slow him down as this game goes on. Because when this combination is going good, they can tear your secondary apart. On the ground, this is Devon H.M. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. Tackle by the corner, C.J. Henderson. Not a run that you're going to write home about, but still a good first down run. That's what an offense calls staying on schedule. Three to four yards on first down, you're set up very well for the rest of the drive. Second down and six now. Again, it's A-Chan. And he'll take this one inside the 10, down to the 8. Yeah. 
So the hand got inside the face mask that time. Looked like a, a pretty easy call. And it was, and we saw this in their loss last week. Penalties at inopportune times that led to their demise. So the face mask moves them closer, and now first and goal. A-Chan is into the end zone. Touchdown, Miami. And that is a great answer here offensively in this first quarter. You start the game flat. Your defense gives up a quick touchdown. But you turn right around and take it down the field yourself quickly and finish with the touchdown run. This could be a game of offense. We've seen two sharp drives in the first few minutes. Now the try here for the pulling after. It's up and good. So these teams match touchdowns here in the first quarter, and we're tied 7-7. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 here as the kick's away. Out of the end zone. Here comes Hines. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. come to the line ready to start their next drive this drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out looking to repeat that in charles's defense they were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field and frankly it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated they both game plan for this drive and they both have specific outcomes in mind to me it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. Here we go, check! Check, check Slot man check, moves check. right. Running left, Taylor. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. That good for 19 at a first down. He was well over 100 yards last week. He told us this week, a little ambitious, that he wants to hit that 200 mark. We'll see. Makes sense, though, doesn't it? Have we ever run into a running back that had a great game okay, the week before ready. that didn't think that's just going to naturally continue? Just make sure you feed me the football. And that's what they're all about. Continuity, rhythm, number of carries. Just keep giving it to him. And he's across midfield and into Miami territory. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. This defense for the Dolphins, they were strong last week, CD, and that went over New England. And no matter what's done throughout a ball game, it always comes back to blocking and tackling. That's the essence of football. Oh, 70, but I think it's 70. hard for people to understand just how difficult it is to tackle, especially open field. Very few missed tackles on tape that I saw last game. This team does a nice job of getting their opponents on the ground. Richardson going to change the play here. Play clock down to two, and we get a signal and a timeout. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. From just across the midfield stripe, here's second down and three. Now they'll change things up. Play action. Now Richardson. 
Oh, he rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked off by Cam Smith. And the Dolphins are going to have it here just past the 25. So this is something we didn't see at all from this offense in the victory last week. That's a turnover. They didn't have any, but giving the ball away here in the opening quarter. I love the surprise in your voice because it's exactly what you stated. Didn't see it last week, but it was a key to their win. And it'll be a key to this game as well. Protecting the football. Didn't get it done there. He'll buy some. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Quiddy Pay make that now eight sacks for him on the season. You know darn well both of these teams reviewed the film and saw that this defense had five sacks last week. They got to keep their QB upright. And they're going to try their best to do exactly that. But they're facing a team where getting to the quarterback is a mindset. It's a mantra for them. And they play a game within the game. And you know what it is? Let's race to the quarterback and see who gets there first. Now a pass hauled in downfield. And he goes out of bounds just shy of the 45. That one covers 29 yards. First down. A nice job there, Charles. They picked up the blitz. Were able to complete the pass. That had the total feel of a quarterback in control. Red blitz. Got him into the right protection scheme. So he doesn't get hit back there. He's got a chance to step up with supreme confidence and deliver it downfield for a nice completion. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. He's settling in nicely here in the first quarter running the football. Remember, he already has the touchdown run. And you can feel the vibe, can't you? He's in unison with his offensive front. They are in concert together. So if you're flipping over to the other side of the line of scrimmage, they've got to be more physical and handle some of these gaps that have been created. And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. Devon Achan with his 13th touchdown of the year and second of the game. And the Dolphins have taken the lead. And a pair of rushing touchdowns now for him in the first quarter. And I'm liking what I'm seeing from his big guys up front because they're winning the leverage game. How many times we talk about low man wins, right? Move the defensive front aside, create those gaps and holes. He's found his way through them for two touchdowns. And after both of those touchdowns, he went right up to that O-line and hit each of them on the helmet. That's he a, recognized That's that. a smart man. You know what else he should do? If this continues, take them all to dinner. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Out of the end zone, here comes Hines. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. Let's go now. The Indy offense at the line and set to go. And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive. In particular, if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah, and some guys, you know they're going to want to try and get a big play right away and take control back. Others, they're going to want to look to hit a couple shorter passes and get a little momentum back that way. But for the defense, that goal's not changing a bit. They want another pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you've got to watch them a little bit because in coverage, they may cut down their gaps a little bit, maybe Maybe their splits a little bit in order to try and get to the ball even faster. We are watching a runner having a really nice game. Carrying it very well. Vision is excellent. But boy, look at the help he's getting. Offensive line, I think they're pretty eager to block for him. Ready. They run with Hines. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. Through one corner, 14-7 our score. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Colts in possession as they've got it with second down and less than a yard. Here we go, here we go! Cougar well, Richardson gonna move him around. 
On second down, it's Taylor. And a solid run here as he'll pick his way down to the 42-yard line. 51 yards rushing for him now, and he's only carried the ball four times. Now that was an excellent run, and when you see that happen, that's when you're seeing guys doing their job, and then some people doing a little bit more. Offensive linemen and tight ends, they're expected to block, but the wide receivers, all they want to do is catch passes, so when they block on a big-time running play and create extra space, you've got to hit the jackpot there. And they'll go to the air now with Richardson. Completes this to Elijah Higgins. And he's going to get this one down to the edge of the red zone. 22 yards on the catch and run, a first down. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open. Just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. Let's go. Not liking the look, they'll change the play. First and ten, it's Richardson. And this one nearly picked off. Well, kind of surprising to see a defender of his caliber let it get away, but get away it does, and it's second down. So, Charles, this defense, you know, they definitely know that they've got their hands full here going up against a group that has won seven straight. What's the key for them in this ball game? Well, we asked their defensive coordinator that very question, and the response was, we have the mindset that they actually have to react to us, not the other way around. So it sounds to me like the plan is to do the attacking and not wait to see what they present to them. 19, Tiger, 19, top, Hawk 70, Hawk 70. 19 tight, 19 tight. Now it's Hines. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. This will be the eighth play of the drive here. Third and four. Now Richardson. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. How about this defense? They came up with a couple big plays in this sequence, and none better than the one right there, forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. And no field goal try here from the red zone. Offense out there. They'll go for it on fourth. Inaudible here to get a new look. Going for it on fourth. Here's Richardson. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And the Colts are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Well, the field that I get on this that they felt like three was just not going to be enough after getting this deep into their territory. And Charles, correct me if I'm wrong, but it didn't even look like they hesitated there. They knew they wanted to go for it. That tells me that during the week, they were thinking oh, about the these situations, and they feel like maybe they're just the better team, and they want to go ahead and prove it conclusively. And this is going to be incomplete. Yes, sir. How about an out of boy there on first down? Got his hand in and knocked it away. Ready, ready. Line of scrimmage again, the four yard line. Second and goal. Ready. Taylor. He's going to go backwards. He'll lose yardage back to the five. They've been denied touchdowns in the red zone twice already. Here comes third and goal. Now it's Richardson. And oh, it'll be intercepted. 
And the Dolphins are going to take possession here. It's a touchback, and they'll take over at the 20-yard line. And the defense, Charles, they bent a little bit, but they did not break. And then on third and goal there, the huge interception. Think of the momentum they're carrying with them right now, Brandon, because in their mind, whether they want to admit it or not, they were conceding three points. Their goal was to keep them at the end zone, not give up a touchdown. Instead, they give up nothing. What a big-time play and a big-time stop by them. It was Quiddy Pay who made the stop coming off the edge. Now keep in mind, if you're thinking of staying on the ground, this is a top-five rush defense. Yeah, but I don't think you shy away totally with the run. At least show them the hint of a run before you decide to throw the football. Tua wants to throw it on second down. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Ingram. And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. 13 yards on his first catch. It's a first down as well. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz game. And you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. Defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. Here's a second down at seven from the 37. Looking to pass to a oh, hit as he throws there incomplete. A good job in coverage there. They took away his top read on the play. So he went through his progressions and ended up settling on his running back who scored on their last possession. But the coverage held. It goes incomplete. Ready. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. 21G, 21G. Off a of play action, Tonga Bailoa. And that ball incomplete, nearly intercepted. Took a chance with that one. It'll lead to a fourth down. That could be the stop this defense needed to get them back on track. They've been pretty well dissected by the offense here in the first half. After that possession, now they know that they can compete with this offense. Yeah, he was looking for the checkup bounce, didn't get it. That scoots all the way into the end zone now for a touchback. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. They are looking to make a bit of a 180. They are sputtering right now. And frankly, I think it's time to call your playmakers together and say, all right, guys, we're going to lean on you through this patch. We need you to get us back on track and get us going in the right direction. So you're calling plays geared to them. Not necessarily what you look at your plays, oh, this hurts the defense. I want the ball in the hands of X, Y, and Z and see if we can move forward. So don't get too cute. Go to the playmakers. Up at the 29 now, they'll head to the line, second and a yard. Check, check. Ready. They'll run the toss here with Taylor. And some room to run now. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 73 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here in this first half. Now Richardson going to shift things up.
Back to Taylor on first down. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. Slot man in motion right. First and 10, Taylor now. And they'll get eight out of this before being stopped at the 28. Now the Colts going to burn the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Two yards to go, second down. Williams. I don't think anyone in the building fooled right there as that one is going to blow up in their faces. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. They go play action with Richardson. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Taylor. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. Indianapolis moving the chains there on a gain of 12. Well, normally on a third down play, I'm not a huge proponent of play action. But when you run it as effectively as we've seen them do in this game, yeah, it sets it up pretty well. Yeah, particularly on this drive, they've been great running the ball. Good setup. Now they'll change things around before the snap. On first down, Richardson. He'll find his man. That's Taylor again. And able to get this down inside the 15, either the 13 or 14 before he's out of bounds. Right back to him for 10 more and a first. But they certainly made a point of getting him involved in the passing game here in the first half. They must have seen something in the scouting that said, hey, we can capitalize on him getting the ball possibly in the open field. And I think in the second half, come on, come on. that may loosen up the defense a little bit to get the running game going back inside. 60 Maverick, 60 Maverick, trap 60, trap 60. First and 10, Richardson looks to throw it. Quick hitter here, it's complete. Touchdown, Colts! A great effort there. Hitting double digits with his 10th touchdown of the season. And the Colts are an extra point away from tying the ball game here in the final minute of the first half. Extra point by Gay is up and good. And that is going to tie our game as we approach halftime. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Yeah, we kind of sensed that one. He got a little too far forward before throwing, and that one will set them back. And remember, the NFL level, being aware of where the line of scrimmage is, is crucial. And here's the other part. Any part of the quarterback's body that's near that line of scrimmage, he's going to get the benefit of the doubt. So he was clearly over the line. Not wanting to take a chance this time. They'll keep it on the ground. And a pretty good run, all things considered. Probably would have liked that in the first quarter instead of right now as the clock continues to run. I don't think anyone thought we'd see a run facing second in that long. And that element of surprise, I think, helped make that play so successful. Nice effort on that carry. And it took what seemed like second and impossible. Now has him within throwing range of a first down. Now Tua. 
Davis here as he's taken down. And they're going to take a timeout defensively. So with fourth down coming up, they go ahead and burn it and say we'll see what happens. Jake Bailey on now to punt here on fourth down. And a fair catch is taken here a step or two inside the 45-yard line. 36 yards on the punt with no return. And there'll be time for maybe one final play before halftime. Got it. Ready? Seven Pirates. Seven Pirates. Check, check, and the slot check, man goes check. in motion left. Panther 11. Panther 11. A final shot before the half. Richardson. Throw left side complete. That's Hines. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. That's it for the first half. Two more quarters to go. We'll have plenty more to see after the break. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth, ready for quarter number three. And ready to get the party started for the second half. It was an even first half, all tied on the scoreboard. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. This offense ready for the first drive of the third quarter. Well, quarters number one and two entertaining. We saw some good offense points put up, Charles, and all tied on the scoreboard. And it sets us up for what could be a really fun second half because we've seen both sides score almost at will here in the first half. And now here in the second half, Getting the ball first, you've got to think, hey, we can go out and really run our offense the way we did in the first half. But if I'm a defensive player, all I'm thinking is, can I make a play to really help out my team and break this streak of offense? Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. But you got to think that sooner or later, they're going to hit one of those, but the coverage has been excellent thus far, and it was again on the last play. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Going to the air, Tungabailoa. And going deep for Hill. And that's caught at the 25. And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. Tyreek Hill, 76 yards. And the Dolphins come right out of the locker room and score here in the opening minute of the third quarter. Well, you know he can be explosive, and he's ultra-explosive there on the fly route. And you know how many times we've talked to coaches and we've had quoted back to us, well, you know something? When you execute really well, it doesn't matter if they know it's coming or not. Well, sometimes athleticism beats you as well. He just took off and went. That's almost like one of your turkey ball games, isn't it? Just go long, <laughs> man. Yard. I'll hit you. And it worked really well for them. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Out of the end zone, here comes Hines. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. The offense at the line and set to go. And this game was all square at halftime, but now they find themselves down seven following the opening drive touchdown here in the third quarter. And they need to take a good, relaxing, deep breath, don't you think? Because right now they might start to feel like they've got to play catch up here and start matching them point for point. But it's still too early to get there. They can still run their offense. Plenty of time to get back in this game. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. Richardson now on second down. Open man right side is Rice. And he gets this up to the 34 out of bounds there. First target, first catch, and a first down. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play 
never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Rig alert, rig alert. 18 rattler, 18 rattler. Let's go. They'll try the left side with Taylor. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. 60 bison, 60 bison. In motion goes the tight end. Off play action, Richardson. The Dolphins get there this time, and they bring him down. Emmanuel Agba in there to bury him for a loss of 11. Okay, I'm not sure you could actually draw a better pass rush than that one right there. Nowhere to go outside. He had to keep backing up and backing up and backing up. Eventually dropped for a huge loss. Need something go. from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. Richardson going to change the play here. On third down, they're going to go with the option. Trying to keep those big legs churning, but he's going to go down in the backfield. Tough sledding. They lose a yard there on third. The Colts send out their punter, standing just outside his own goal line. He was called on three times in the win last week as his first one hears away. No return, but it goes down as just a punt of 31 yards. And this offense takes over in great shape right at the 50, first and 10. Two and the Dolphins now with a first and 10 right at the 50-yard line. From midfield, here's Tua. And seeing no options, he just tosses this one away incomplete. Now that'll bring up second down. And when you're in a one-score game in the second half, now's not the time to force the football into places where you shouldn't. And that's a smart decision to just get that one out of there. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and ten. Two are going to throw. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And that will be incomplete. Tried to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. There is something to a game plan with trying to keep a defense honest with a guy with that type of speed. You do so. Send him deep. Try to throw some air under it and hope you connect downfield. On that play, they were unsuccessful. All right. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. Now oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. And he'll take it across midfield and down to the 48-yard line. Well, this is simply a great read by a defensive back. It's third and 10, so he sits right on where the yard to gain marker is, knows it's going to be a route around that distance, makes his read, breaks on the football, and makes a terrific play. Get it. Ready. Now a give to Taylor. And he'll be taken down right around the 41-yard line. 93 yards rushing for him so far as his terrific season continues here. What a way to start a drive. An excellent run, a tone setter, and now if you want to take a shot on second down and go play action and make it look like the same exact play and throw it over the top, you can do so because you've established the run in a big way. Again, it's Taylor. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. They were not fooling around at all, were they? Second and short, and they brought out the heavy package. Almost felt like the super heavy package against that defense, didn't it? Yeah, I don't think they expected that much beef up front, and it turned into an easy first down conversion. That flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit.
Now they need 15 yards on this series after the delay of game. First and 15. Richardson to throw off play action. Pass complete. It's Hines on the crossing route here. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. First and 10. Here's Richardson with it. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And he'll head out of bounds inside the 10. Mark him down at the 9. 12 more yards there and another first down. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. And that one covered beautifully. Their defenders stayed home, and they'll stop him behind the line. And Richardson going to move him around. Now we've got whistles and a flag. Looked like one of the Colts linemen might have jumped. Things made a little more difficult after the false start as they try again on second and goal. Warriors 17. Cup 19. Cup 19. Stop low 18. Let's go. Richardson looking to throw. And this is going to be intercepted. And the Dolphins are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. Boy, so another interception, CD, and it feels like he's starting to unravel a little bit. And as you would expect, still a work in progress here in his second season. He has to start ironing out some of these mistakes, though, because now his head coach, his offensive coaches, they have to evaluate whether you keep playing him, let him work through it, or you start thinking about going to his backup. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Now a timeout called for by the defense. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. Chan here, they stay on the ground. He'll get it to the 40. Broke a tackle there to get some extra yardage. 117 yards rushing for him now as his sensational afternoon continues. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time and making it work. Tua sets up to pass it. Blitz coming, and down he goes. And a Tommy Wyatabare picks up his second sack of the afternoon. And keep in mind, in addition to the two sacks that he now has, CD, he's also had a couple of quarterback hurries. He's been very disruptive. To put it mildly, and it reminds me of the time I asked an offensive tackle who struggled like this in a game. He said he was telling the coach, hey, what do you want me to do? This guy's just eating me alive. And the coach finally just looked at him and said, applaud. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. Sometimes the game is pretty simple. Put a few extra defensive backs on the field, give them nowhere to throw the football, force the incompletion, and get off the field on third down. And this should be the final play before the quarter ends. And they'll send the tight end in motion. Water, load, load. 20 TX. Done. They're going for it. Here's Tua with it. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And the defense has it covered. It's intercepted. It's Kyler Duggar who picks it. And the Colts are going to get the football back as time will run out in this third quarter of play. So it'll be a change of possession on the turnover when we get back. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Miami. 
It's the Colts, so they've got the football, but they've got work to do trailing here as we begin the fourth quarter. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. The interception sets them up with an opportunity to erase this fourth quarter deficit. And this series could very well determine our outcome. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Well, not a game that you're going to go crazy about, but when you start at your own two-yard line, any type of space is good for the offensive guys. Yeah, they just can't go backwards from here. They did it. Now we'll see if they can keep it on schedule here on second down. 60 bison, 60 bison. Bring it. Chop alert, chop alert. Second down, another run with Taylor. And they get him behind the line. So that short gain on first down quickly negated. The offense on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This is third and 11. From his own end zone, it's Richardson. Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. A big play there for Indy. And even 40 yards. And Charles, with that completion, I'm told that puts him now over 3,000 yards passing on the campaign. And Brandon, I think we have to start to think about where we are in the season. Because right now, 4,000 is not out of the question. I think a big game or two, he's certainly capable of getting that done. Come on, come on. And a big play pushes him all the way out to the 40 now for first down. Viking 18. Up the middle, here's Taylor. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. Second and six. Three, They'll bring three. a receiver in motion left. Richardson off the play fake. That throw taken in by Jamison Williams. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 41-yard line. Another good reception there. The Colts on the march. Let's go now. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first hey, and ready. ten. They'll send a receiver here in motion right. Ready. On the handoff, Taylor. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple and that's it. And the offense moving quickly to the line. Second down, here's Richardson. Here's Higgins out of the right side. He's up now to 80 yards receiving in the ball game, and he's got a first down. When an offense reads blitz, doesn't matter where it's coming from, tight ends know that they've become a big part of the passing game because they should be an easy outlet when all those extra bodies are trying to get to the quarterback. A hot route, so to speak. Ready! So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. On the handoff, this is Taylor. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Second down, eight to go from the 28. They run once more with Taylor. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. Play action. Now Richardson. He's got his tight end. It's Albert Okuwebunam. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins 18. I like the design that we're seeing right there. This is what they need. Down by a touchdown here in the fourth. They just need to keep working their way downfield. And when they see openings, take their shots. 
And now, defensively, they're going to burn their first time out. Remember, they get an extra time built in coming up here shortly at the two-minute warning. This go. offense in good shape. Two timeouts and the two-minute warning. Here's first and ten. Running straight ahead, Taylor. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So the Colts in possession of the football as we get you reset. They come up on a second down now in a game that looks like it's going to go down to the wire. Second down, eight yards to go. From the gun, it's Taylor. And he'll fight his way down right around the 12. A big play here. Crowd on their feet. Third and four. Left hand, 19. 65 yards. 65 yards. Richardson. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he's going to get out of bounds with the first down. So that's going to double their pleasure for sure. They get the first and save a timeout. Let's go. Now Richardson going to shift things up. They'll run here with Taylor. And he takes this one in for a Colts touchdown. Jonathan Taylor taking it in from four yards out. And the Colts go coast to coast and finish the drive off with six points. Well, the hard part's done. Now they just need to split the posts, tie it up, but then their defense is going to have to hold up to send it to overtime. Yeah, no matter what. I know there's an inclination in it when you have momentum to go for two here, but if you miss it, you don't give your defense a chance at all. Plus, it's been a good game. I want to see overtime. I'm selfish. <laughs> you obviously don't have a flight to catch tomorrow. Now this one setting up for a great finish, all tied in the fourth as the kick's away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. They'll come up first and 10 here. Throwing to a... Here's A-Chan to start the drive. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Well, that's a good first step, but several steps still to go. They still have time for the possible game-winning field goal. Time for them to be quick and hurry at the same time. All right, come on. Plenty of time and two timeouts still at their disposal. First and ten here. Tua on first down, back to HM. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. The Dolphins going to take their second timeout as they get it with under a minute to go now in the football game. He's having a big game running the football, but that one will hurt the yards per carry a little bit. Yeah, but the average he's got so far, that's the type of average he wants to take with him to contract negotiations, doesn't he? Now Tua. Rolling to his right. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. Now the Dolphins will use the last of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in the fourth. Ready. A big play needed, no doubt. Third and long. Here's Tua. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. Now the Colts going to burn the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the game. Hey, 
Final minute, no timeouts at their disposal. Here's first and 10. A give, running right, a champ. Down the right sideline. And that's a touchdown as they break in our tie here in the final minute of the fourth. If there was a time to break off a nice run like that, it was right here to grab the lead in the fourth. And it's just so much stress on a defense in that situation because you're looking at the clock. Who are we guarding against? What's the first thing, right? The strike to the end zone, throwing the ball. Instead, they come back and hit him with a run. Block it well, and how about the physical run he made? Terrific job finding his way to the end zone to give him the lead. Point after, right down the middle. And they will take a seven-point lead. is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And a fair catch taken. No time will come off the clock. And they will begin this critical drive at the 25-yard line. Here's first and ten. Richardson going to change the play here. Back to throw. And that's caught by Williams. And he's going to get out of bounds with the first down. So an ideal set of circumstances there. They move the chains and they save that final timeout. Looks like they'll move things around here. 70 Ranger, 70 Ranger. Hey, hey. 19 tight, 19 tight. Check, 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 check. Let's go. Here's Richardson. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. One last shot for Richardson. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And yeah, this is taken in at the five. And he's into the end zone. Unbelievable. A defensive collapse on the final play. And Charles, they can tie it with a PAT. I cannot believe that. Yes, sir, that touchdown puts them in striking distance. And let me tell you something, forget being conservative here. Go for it. Go for two. Well, going for it on the road. Want to win it right now? Want to win it right now? Have the momentum? Go ahead and get it done. 18 Cardinal, 18 Cardinal. Dragon 16. <laughs> One final shot. They'll look to throw. And he is in. The call works, and they have won the football game. So let's recap. How about the guts in this one? You score on the final play. Thought they were just...